Also today, IMPD is beefing up its technology to help improve investigations like last weekend street takeovers. Now, currently the department utilizes body worn cameras and license plate readers. Now they will also be using in car cameras. Our Marion County reporter Lauren Costa got an up close look at how these new eyes will work. Right now, IMPD is in the middle of installing more than a thousand cameras inside patrol cars, giving not just officers, but also the community another perspective during critical incidents. Just last weekend, IMPD officers were met with violence while responding to several street takeovers. And evidence of the chaos can be heard on those officers' body cameras, but not seen. Something the chief says these in-car cameras would fix. So they would have had, you would have had a front row seat about uh, those, those, those attacks on officers. This week, IMPD is speeding up its process of installing new cameras in 700 of its marked cars. Each car will get two cameras, prioritizing traffic and district cars. One camera is positioned in the front, facing outward, giving the officer's viewpoint. The other is positioned in the back seat, giving a view of a suspect or prisoner being transported. And as of today, we have installed more than 200, and we continue each and every day adding to that number. The cameras will stay in standby mode ready to record. They will also capture the first 30 seconds of video before being activated to ensure critical moments are documented. It's activated automatically through the light and siren box, through the computer aided dispatch, so certain 911 calls as the officers get close to the location, the, they automatically trigger or through the automatic trigger that's uh, that exists on the holsters. The chief says this added technology will be crucial in police shootings the and train. traffic stops, adding another level of accountability and transparency. The chief says these cameras can also be used in court to offer another perspective and act as a digital witness in cases. In Indianapolis, Lauren Costick, 13 News. IMPD received the funding for these cameras through the city's 2024 budget. Nearly $600,000 was put aside to improve the department's body worn cameras and in car car systems, the camera systems. Once installed, IMPD will evaluate if more cameras are needed.